this fat stormtrooper from Dark Chicken Gaming. Um, this is the, the idea is whether or not uh, uh, brains are affected by internet gaming. Now, this is an article that talks about um, uh, a nine-year-old uh, who who was basically um, can't wait to get back to their video game. Well, so many kids are like that. I mean, I guess the question is, I mean, well, is it um, is it uh, a, a a disorder? Um, I have a lot of people saying, "Oh God, you know, um, your kids sh shouldn't be playing video games," or um, uh, y you know, why are you playing video games? Are you a supposedly intelligent fellow? Um, this guy here, uh, basically, he gets yeah, stimulated. Uh, they've noticed that his uh, pulse rate goes up. Duh, if you play a shooting game, my pulse rate goes up too. Um, and the feel-good chemical uh, uh, chemicals called dopamine in the brain actually arise. Well, that's sort of what happens. Um, and uh, I guess the question is, I mean... Is this a, is this a big deal? Was this does this mean anything, or is it just a load of shit? Um, oh God, the hell, get out of here! Um, MRIs. An MRI is a scanner that can image the magnetic fields of the brain. So basically, mean sorry, sorry, magnetic field that can influence the uh, the uh, uh, spin on certain atoms and, and measure them. Uh, it can also be used to estimate blood flow to different parts of the brain. Okay, um, playing shooter games damages the brain. All these sort of sensationalist studies. I mean, um, basically, the these games are, are, are different. The different games are so many different things. It, is it the amount of exposure, the type of games, the age of the brain? Um, this is a so-called functional MRI scan and it shows here that in the gamer who is a habitual uh, a habitual gamer versus non-gamer there are differences and you can actually have differences in stimulation of different parts of the brain I'll see um, oh, oh this is a little kid who's uh, and they're more or less saying that if it's more more than an hour a day the benefits for lost and and, and uh, you know, if they pay less than an hour a day, they feel left out with peers. Um, yeah, I, I guess the thing they're saying that more than three hours a day is probably not is, is you know there's not an hour a day is enough. Well, <laughs> I think some days an hour a day is not enough for me. How many hours a day can I play video games? This is a more pictured adults from Cora. Um, hardcore gamers, 18 to 20 hours. Um, uh yeah i guess it becomes a problem when people don't shit don't att uh, get up they they don't attend to their hygiene they get morbidly obese they eat junk food um uh yeah this is why it's a, it's it's a, it's a big deal um i i guess you know the, the comparison i'm interested in is you know video games uh, and drug addicts are we addicted to drugs the very basic part of the brain, the central part of the brain called uh, the amygdala, the primitive emotion rage satisfaction center, uh, which is linked very closely to smell, sexual function, and the self satisfaction center uh, in the brain. Um, you know, basically, a nine year old being admitted for Fortnite addiction. <laughs> Fucking hell. Can't you pick a better game to be addicted to, bitch? Anyway. Um, yeah, so the, this is becoming big news. This is the difference between a normal brain, okay, uh, and a cocaine brain. Now, in a co basically, the anterior cingulate gyrus, this is an area, okay, is which is activated in cocaine addicts. It is also not really activated to any major degree. This is a, a part of that uh, self-satisfaction center, um, and th th these, this uh, uh, is correlated with uh, p issues with behavioral control and this sort of stuff. Um, I, I guess um, people have actually done research on it, and they've said, well, look, hey, is there a way in which 
this can this can be linked to this, a similar change. Um, all sorts of treatments are being proposed, most of them counselling, but even people have tr suggest trying things, medications to dampen down the stimulatory centre. Okay, so uh, this this is a, uh, I, I'm just trying to find this one here, I'm trying to get the next one up here. Yeah, this is a table taken from one of the, the so-called Yong Internet Addiction Scale. They made a scale for it. These are these are the gamers that game a couple yeah a couple of hours a day. These are the gamers that play too much, and they've broken them down into groups. Um, so what that means for us is that you know there should be a difference between these groups. So I'm going to try and get the next thing up. Woohoo! No. Woohoo! Um, no, come on, fucking hell, man, I'm trying to get, I'll get rid of that, yeah, okay, let's have a look at this one here, um, okay, so this one here shows that there's different areas uh, of blood flow depending on, on, on what's being activated, this is a sensory cortex, this is the motor cortex, this is a visual cortex, that, you know, so eyesight response, this is again visual, the visual, what we call the visual interpretation area of the brain, these are, these are, this is the cerebellum or coordination center, so whenever you play a game, and you see something and you think of movement, your brain actually activates as if you are, in fact, moving, which is something that I don't think a lot of people appreciate. Um, so, what what are we going to look at next? Um, I'm just trying to have a look at this one here. If it, I can get the stupid thing up. Um, hey, that will do it. Okay, so basically, there's different different levels of activation according to the gamer, but th these are these are people that aren't sort of uh, gaming excessively. If they game excessively, they start to have changes up here, like the other brains that are sort of like the people that are on cocaine. So basically, these guys are in essence manifesting similar brain scans to people who are addicted to cocaine, methamphetamine, and other stimulants. Uh, so there is actually a correlation. Now, what is a healthy level of gaming? People say that you probably shouldn't pay more than 20 hours a week. But that's been pulled out of the sky. For, for, for the difference between a, a teenager, a young kid, or an adult is maybe vastly different. But whatever the case is, we are having a rising number of uh, uh, gaming addicts. Um, uh, we've had a, a couple of other, uh, you know, sort of instances where people are behaving and having their behavior determined they're becoming more aggressive you hear, hear of these people becoming salty um, and, and toxic and, and behaviorally disinhibited these are similar to to what we find with patients uh, who are who are on stimulate medication so this is really interesting and it's something that uh, uh, may explain some of the degree of toxicity uh, in the community. Other, alternatively, these people will just be maybe uh, just be assholes. <laughs> I don't know, but this is is interesting. So I don't know if you guys are interested in this shit. I frankly quite don't care because I'm actually interested in this shit, and it's something that uh, um, y you might want to consider. Are you getting hooked? Um, do you know someone that's getting hooked? Is their behaviour changing? Uh, peace.